the battle over Anne Heche's estate. Welcome to Access Hollywood. I'm Mario Lopez. Two sons, two different dads, and a questionable will left behind have created major legal drama between Anne Heche's 20-year-old son, Homer, and Anne's ex, James Tupper, father of her other son, 13-year-old Atlas. So, who will be the executor of all that Anne has left behind? Meeting on the set of Men in Trees, James and Anne began a decade-long romance in 2007, welcoming son Atlas two years later. Now, in a newly filed petition, James claims that Anne left him in charge of her estate, emailing him and two other people a copy of her will back in January 2011 when they were still dating. But NBC legal analyst Danny Savalas says that email may not hold up in court. But California allows for what's called a holographic or handwritten will. Now, a lot of folks say, why can't I just type it up in an email and send it? Well, someone can prove that that is Anne Hesh's handwriting. An email signed Love Anne doesn't do the same thing. Homer is okay. He's grieving, of course. Anne's son with ex-husband Coley LaFoon, Homer, filed for control of her estate just last month. He was appointed a special administrator by the court, but Tupper's newly filed petitions alleges Homer is not suitable for the position, stating, quote, he is only 20 years of age and is unemployed and was estranged from Heche at the time of her death due to his dropping out of university studies and not working to support himself. For the moment, Homer has the upper hand. The mere fact that Homer is 20 years old and maybe not going to college doesn't automatically disqualify someone from administering an estate. But if there are concerns that can be raised to the court about how the estate would be administered, then there may be grounds for a challenge. James further claims that Homer has changed the locks on Anne's apartment, which she shared with her son Atlas, preventing the 13-year-old from gaining access to his belongings inside. The lawsuit also alleges that despite Atlas repeatedly reaching out to Homer since Anne's death, quote, Homer has not seen his brother nor had contact with him, causing Tupper to worry that, quote, Homer will not act in his brother's best interest. Even if Homer got full control of the estate as an administrator, that doesn't necessarily mean he gets all of the estate's assets. The court will probably make sure that no matter who is appointed as the administrator, that the two siblings take equally in their mother's state as allowed by California law. Well, Homer's attorney told us they want to keep this private and that the legal documents speak for themselves.